Today we're going to talk about choices. Every day in business and in our personal lives, we make choices. For instance, should I invest my money or spend it? Or what should I do with my time? We're going to look at a concept called opportunity cost. This concept is used all the time in economics and business and in everyday life because it's a good way to think about making choices and the costs involved. First, let's look at an example from everyday life. Say you have two hours of free time today. There are many ways you could spend your time, but only two that you're really interested in, cleaning your apartment or taking a nap. There's not time for both, so you have to choose. If you clean your apartment, you won't have time to take a nap. If you take a nap, you won't have time to clean your apartment. You must choose. And remember, doing one thing means choosing not to do the other. This is what we call opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is the thing you give up to get something you want. Again, opportunity cost is the thing you give up to get something you want. If you clean your apartment, the opportunity cost is taking a nap and feeling rested. You see that? On the other hand, if you take a nap, the opportunity cost is cleaning your apartment and having a clean living space. So this is the first important point about opportunity cost. The focus is not on what you get when you make a choice, but what you give up. Hence, by doing one thing, you lose the opportunity to do something else. That's what we mean by cost. Another important point is that opportunity cost is not about price or money. Instead, it's a way of looking at choices that don't have a price tag, like feeling rested after a nap. So this concept helps you to see the cost of your decisions. Now let's look at a business decision that has an opportunity cost. Let's say we have a company, International Widgets. I'm just using the term widgets to mean any product. It could mean cars, lipstick, frozen pizza, whatever. The product we use here in the example isn't important. Anyway, International Widgets has been doing well, so we have extra money to invest in the company. We have two investment possibilities. One is to put the extra money into advertising, radio, newspaper ads, so on, so that more people will hear about the fantastic widgets we make and will buy more of them. The other possibility is to build a new factory so we can make more widgets. So we have to choose. If we choose to build a new factory, then the opportunity cost will be advertising and people hearing about our fantastic product. On the other hand, if we advertise, the opportunity cost will be a new factory to make more widgets. We might spend the same amount of money in each case, but the opportunity cost is different with each choice. Of course, many decisions are more complicated, have more moving parts than that example. So let's add a third element. But first, we need to look at our definition of opportunity cost again. Listen closely. This is important. Opportunity cost is the single most valuable thing we give up to get what we want. It's not all of the choices that you give up. Opportunity cost is, by definition, the most valuable thing you give up. So let's imagine that same situation with three elements, advertising, our factory, and our workers. Our widgets are selling like crazy, so we don't need to advertise, right? Because the product is already really popular. However, we do need a new factory so we can make more widgets and have more widgets to sell. But the factory workers are also unhappy. They're working long hours and they want to be paid more and we're afraid they'll quit if we don't give them raises. In this case, if we decide to fund a new factory, the opportunity cost will be giving workers raises. That's the first thing we would do if we didn't put our funds into a new factory. It's the most valuable thing we give up. It's our opportunity cost. Now let's look at the same three choices, but with a different outcome. 
Let's say the workers are well paid and happy for now, so we can exclude the option of giving them a raise. It's not necessary, but our factory's old, starting to break down, so we need a new factory. In addition, another company has come out with a very similar product and they're advertising a lot. So we also want to advertise more to compete and to keep our sales numbers high. In this case, if we fund a new factory, the opportunity cost will be advertising. It's what we would do if we didn't choose to build a new factory. Well, I hope these examples help explain the concept of opportunity cost. And you can see how useful this way of thinking is when making decisions. Next time, we'll look at more examples of how we can use the idea of opportunity cost.